Next, we will see different column layouts. For that, let us go to the layout tab. For those using Word 2010 and lower, you will go to the page layout tab. In this page setup group, we have an option called columns. Let us click on it. And you will see one column has been selected. Let us click on two. And you will see that your text has been divided into a column layout. Column layout is again similar to what you see in newspaper and magazine. It is always first column, then here, then here. It is how it is written. So we have made a two column, but it's not looking quite nice because our entire smart art and tables are being overlapped. So what we will do is, Let's say I want a column break after this point. So I will put my cursor here. There's an option called breaks. And there's a break column. So my next column will start from the next point. Let's say I make it three column. And third column needs to be break here. So I'll again put a break. So this is how you can make a column layout look for your text so this is how you can make a column layout in your document for text from breaks you can add a page break how we had added earlier a column break a text wrapping break if your text is wrapped around image where you want to actually break it you can apply those kind of breaks lastly we will see review tab we have already seen how to check for spelling and grammar errors from the proofing group of the review tab. You can also use thesaurus. Let us click on it. Thesaurus is something which gives you similar kind of words or similar kind of definitions. Let's say document. Thesaurus is something which gives you similar kind of words. For that, let us say I want more words for the word document. So I will select document. I will go and click on thesaurus on the proofing group of the review tab. And you will see on this panel that different words that can be used in the place of documents are being appeared. And if you want to see definition of this word, you'll need to be connected to your internet and logged into your Microsoft account. You can also see word count. Word count means how many words are there in the document, how many pages are there, how many paragraphs are there, etc. You can also translate your document to any other language from here. There is also something called a smart lookup which helps you find text, definition, etc. So as document word was selected, you can see that whatever is available about document on internet is being visible. A definition and other such things. So you can make your experience with word much more better with this features. With this, we complete our advanced tutorials on word document. Thank you and happy learning.